don't see much. When's the last time you saw him, Mr. Davis? Well, I heard their car leave on Saturday morning. Five days ago? Yeah. Is there a side entrance? Mm, around here. I guess. Suspect break through the back door. Dog goes for suspect. Suspect stab dog. You've got a weapon? Well, there's one missing. Hasn't shown up anywhere else. And how long has dog been dead? Mm, it's difficult to say. Four, maybe five days. This is all dog blood. Oh, this is. Whoosh. Arterial bleed. Dog snuffed it on the spot. This, however, is not the dog's blood. My guess is Fido over there bit the burglar, burglars. They've trailed their blood through the house. It goes all the way upstairs. It must have been a serious bite. Yeah, it's a big dog. Any witnesses? No. Well, except for the dog. Fetch! Doesn't look like it's going to play ball. Oh, yeah, hilarious. Now you've contaminated my crime scene. Well done. Well, somehow, I don't think this one's destined for the Bailey. All yours, Mrs. Manson. Mrs. Manson, what's that? Well, it's like the love boat down in CID. Mickey and Terry, Grace and Neil. Right, I'm out of here. We've only just arrived. See you later, Gracie, darling. Max! Oh, you got to be kidding me. Eddie, I'm not even going to have this conversation. I mean, Neil's a decent bloke, a steady bloke, but Grace, here's Neil Manson. Is that really what you want? Eddie. <laughs> Grace and Neil, that's horrible. That's all kinds of wrong. Eddie, stop. Come on, just talk me through this. Well, what do you see? Well, definitely not a pro job. Just have a look at the way they botched the door. Probably opportunist, drug taker, drunk. Okay, follow me this way. Careful. Ta da! Someone got into the safe? Yeah, well, judging by the blood marks on the keypad, that was our suspect. They knew the combination. Well, the homeowners had a very sophisticated alarm system that had already been disabled when uniform arrived. Walsh, both in their 60s. He's an architect, she's a GP. They told the neighbour, Mr Davis, they were going on holiday. When? Saturday, and the car's gone. Could you circulate the vehicle details? Yep. Thank you. Sierra Oscar for 363. Can you get me a registration number, please? It's a Jaguar. The Walsh's mobiles are going straight to voicemail, including the sons. I left messages, asked them to call here. What are your thoughts? Oh, it's pretty gruesome. First, it looked opportunistic, but the alarm was disarmed. The safe was open. And if you saw or heard a dog, you'd just get out of there, wouldn't you? Well, exactly. Unless there was something there that you really wanted to get your hands on. What we found upstairs kind of pointed to that. Why does Eddie always do this? Do what? Leave out the most important details. If I'd known there was a safe upstairs. I heard you walked out before he had the opportunity, Max. Gov, someone's been telling tales. No one's been telling tales. Eddie told me. Of course he did. Right, Stevie, you're heading this up now, okay? Heading what up? 
Burglary. Occupants on holiday could be an inside job. Insurance job. We can't rule it out, but it doesn't feel like that. The homeowner's dog was killed. Lovely. There you go. Topic for tonight's dinner. Death of the dog. Grace, Rory Walsh has phoned in. He's the son of the householders. He says if you want to talk to him, he's at that address. Thanks. Let's go. Mr. Walsh about? He's in the kitchen. Cheers. Mr. Walsh, DS Moss, DC Dustry. Hi. I was expecting a spotty kid in a uniform. It is just a break in, right? It's what we call aggravated burglary. Right. Unfortunately, your parents' dog was killed in the incident. No. I'm oh, sorry. How did she die? She was stabbed. What? Oh, why was she there? She, she, she should have been in kennels. Oh, that'd be dad the tight git. Oh, probably got someone around to feed her. Mr. Walsh, do you know where your parents have gone? Uh, Italy. They, they flew out Saturday afternoon. When did you last see them? Uh, a few weeks ago. Is that the last time you spoke to them? We haven't been able to contact them. Yeah. Uh, have they taken much? They got into the safe. Do you know what they kept in there? <laughs> Paperwork, uh, maybe money. How much money? I don't know, I'm just guessing. Did your parents mention seeing anyone hanging around the place? Anything odd that caught their attention? No, we haven't spoken properly for a while. What? Alan! Is that the boiler? Oh, I'm sorry, I've got to go and deal with this. Does that feel a bit weird to you? Hello? Ah, oh, whereabouts? Okay, great. We'll be straight down there. Thanks. Found the Walsh's car. Suspects seen by the car and all the residents keeping their mouths firmly shut. Are you sure this is the Walsh's car? Yeah. Eddie, what are the chances of getting forensics from inside? Zero, unless a suspect went in the boot. Anyone open the boot yet? No, it's well shut. We'll have to get the fire brigade to do it. Peter, you pop that open. Howard Walsh were booked on the 15.30 flight to Naples on Saturday, but they never showed. If they hadn't left to go on holiday, there's a good chance they were in the house when this happened. The telephone was smashed to pieces like someone had stamped on it. I'm wondering if one of the Walshers attempted to make a call for help and was stopped. The upstairs was really messy, but the only other thing actually broken was a photograph, an old family photo. What are you thinking? Well, again, it's just a feeling, but I'm wondering if there isn't a personal element to this. Okay, I don't think we can assume that robbery is the only motivation in this case, and I'd like to treat it as a missing persons inquiry from now on. Yep. All right, that was Eddie on the phone. The blood on the knife came from the dog. Any prints on the knife? No, but he found blood in the boot of the car. It was human, but it doesn't match any of the blood in the house. So it could belong to one of the Walshes? DNA? Earliest tomorrow. Right, well, we need traces on the Walshes' mobiles, Grace, if you can do that, and pull off their phone records and bank statements too. Yep. Terry, can you speak to the son? He needs to know about the car. Also, we need more info on the parents, state of their marriage, any grudges against them, that sort of thing. OK. Go, I'm going to go to the crime scene, try and get my head round it. OK. Keep me brief, Stevie. Looking tasty all of a sudden. Well, it's looking like a ticking clock. People don't just disappear. <sighs> you know what this is, don't you? Manson pulling me off it. Divide and rule, mate. Doesn't want his sergeants kicking off about him and Grace. 
Don't play games with me, Max. Here, Sarge. Let's have a look at this. Where'd you find this? Oh, one of the blokes in the flat saw it on the net, said he saw the kids filming it. Get a clear picture of the registration. Definitely the Walsh's car. When was he shot? Last night. You managed to ID any of these kids? Nah, but we can try running names for your Borough Intelligence. I know him. Which one? Oh, that one? Yeah. Who, who is he? Anthony Williams. He's out on licence. What for? Criminal damage. He's a graffiti artist. Do you know um, Suicide Bridge on Talbot Street? Yeah, well, that's him. <laughs> How's he get out there? <laughs> He's got form for the pinnacles? Yeah, taken without consent a couple of years back. Come on, let's go and meet him. I'll hang on to that. Yeah, sure. Where's he live? Um, at the house. Hello, Anthony. I'm not at home to visitors. You've been busy. Yeah, I've had to scale my work down thanks to you. Well, at least you won't break your neck drawing from your kitchen. That was half the fun. They're good. We've got a video of you here. If it's the one of me on the roof of the cinema, that's old. Barbecue, 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 mother's ass. It's the closest thing you get to entertainment around here. And it's free. Who set fire to the car? I don't know. I don't think they're from around here. You're by far the oldest kid there. Makes me think you're the ringleader. I'm not part of anything around here. If I step one foot out of line, I lose this flat, I lose everything. Ask Barbara. Who's Barbara? Anthony's social worker. Yeah, and you don't mess with Barbara. You're telling me you don't know anything about this? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. You're a bit of an adrenaline junkie, though, aren't you? Oh, give me a break, you man. You weren't even tempted? Nice, fast car like that? Were you inside the car? No. Any more friends you want to introduce me to? And then he's all right, you know, deep down. Kind of reminds me of my brother. He's a liar. I think he's trying to turn himself around. At some point, Mel, you're going to have to toughen up. <laughs> oh, blimey, you got your work cut out for you. The Walsh's bank statements and phone records. I asked for a month. I think they're giving me the last four years. Yeah, well, I've got something to show you. Oh, yeah, I'm a little bit tied up. Oh, I think you'll want to see it. Go on, then. I lifted the prints from the keypad on the outside of the safe. Now, they match prints I found over the rest of the house, but we haven't got a hit. So what does that mean? Well, I guess that they belong to one of the Walshes. Uh, inside the safe is another set of prints, and they have got a match on the system. Rory Walsh. Their son. So he's got four. No, he must have. And his prints are all over this as well. And it's a letter detailing the Walsh's various investments. The son must have had a right old nose around. So was this inside the safe too? Yeah, it was a recorded delivery. It arrived last Friday. So he was inside their house last week? Yeah. Well, that's not what he told us. Seven years ago, Rory Walsh did an 18-month stretch at Longmarsh for possession and supply of Class A's. His father shopped it. Well, only this much. He also acted as witness for the prosecution. A few weeks before he was arrested, there was an incident at the Walsh's house involving Rory and his dad. It was NFA'd, but it was down as a domestic. So there's no love lost between father and son, then? Rory, we know that you were in your parents' safe. So we're giving you an opportunity to explain yourself. They're my mum and dad. They lend me money sometimes. Why is this any business of yours? How do you get on with your parents? What is this? We found your parents' burnt-out car this morning. Their luggage was in the boot. They didn't take their flights to Italy. Where are they? Why don't you tell us? What are you insinuating? We know you were in your parents' house this week. We need to know when. Friday evening. Were they there? Yes. So they opened the safe for you? You opened the safe yourself? I needed a short-term loan. You just took it? I think we should continue this conversation down the station, don't you? I can't leave the site. 
And then we'll just arrest you. What? They're my parents. And you've just admitted stealing from them. Rory Walsh, I'm arresting you on suspicion of burglary. You don't have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention my question. It's something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. My parents are very wealthy, very connected people. And if I was you, I would... Your parents are missing. Now get out into the car. five days, someone's been emptying the Walsh's current account and there's been no activity on their mobiles for five days. How long have these bank statements been sitting here? Don't know, I was just passing Grace's desk, it caught my eye. Where is she? No idea. Look, whoever's been doing it does it between 14.30 and 15.15 each day. That gives us one hour to set up surveillance. All the cash machines that have been used are in and around Piccadilly Circus. Now, so far only three have been used, but there are plenty more in the area. We couldn't put a surveillance team around there. It's full of tourist parties. We could get the bank to alert us every time the Walsh's cash card is used. Realistically, how much time have we got? Well, it takes, what, 30 seconds to make a cash withdrawal? If we can get a live feed from the CCTV on the cash point, then at least we'll get a description. I'll see how many bodies I can rustle up for you. Hey, right, quick, if you like, you want to know what you're doing? Yeah. When you get on the scene, you take your orders from DS Moss. Where have you been? Where have you been? Who's this? It's the Walsh's son. You've arrested him. Sorry, boss. You've arrested him. Rory's prints were inside the safe and on an envelope which arrived last Friday. He lied to us and refused to come in voluntarily. You were supposed to be looking into the Walsh's finances. Why didn't you tell someone? Everyone else was out of the building. I had to make a snap decision. You could have come to me, Grace. And if I keep running to you, what do you think people are going to say? No, you've just been paranoid. Really? I mentioned to you in passing that Max had walked out of the Walsh's house. You kicked him off the case. Well, he's back on it now. We're hoping that our target is going to use the Walsh's cash card at one of the 15 machines in the area, so communication is key. As soon as the card is used, DS Carter will be notified. In that case, we've got a very small window of opportunity in which to act and bring in our suspect. Each of you will be posted at one of the cash points in the area, and we're expecting the transaction to take place at 14.30, as with all the others. Right. Everyone know what they're doing? No. Good Good-o. Glad someone does.
That's how it was. You sure? I'm positive. Stevie, the suspect is an IC1 male in his 60s. He's wearing a black jacket and a black baseball cap. We think it is Howard Walsh. What's going on? That suspect is Howard Walsh. He's an elderly man. Proceed with care. No strong arm tactics, please. This card's just been rejected. He's just left the cash machine. Head into the tube. Tuck's head into the tube. Okay, keep following him, Ben. Mel? You take that one, I'll take this one. I've lost sight of him. Okay, you go that way, I'll go right here. Uh. I got through the barriers. Go check it out. Yeah, I've got eyes on him. He's at the cash machine by exit three. I'm a police officer. It's okay, Mr. Walsh. Please, please. What we want to do is talk to you, right? Slick, Stevie. I hope someone sent the footage to Hendon for training purposes. Well, we didn't have a lot of time to prepare. That is true, of course. OK. Howard Walsh was seen at a cash point in Piccadilly an hour ago where he fled from officers. Prior to that, the last confirmed sighting of the Walshes was five days ago. In that time, they'd been burgled, their dog was killed and their safe was accessed. Oh, well, you know what they say. All good things come in threes, don't they? We found the Walsh's burnt out car on the Jasmine Allen estate this morning. There was blood in the boot, but none They've of it They've been kidnapped. Surprising. Someone's forcing them to empty their bank accounts. One of them's been injured. That's one possible scenario, yes. So, how did Howard seem? Scared. And Ben thought he'd sustained an injury. He had blood on the side of his face. Maybe he lashed out because he was trying to protect someone. His wife. Where does the son fit into this? Well, he lied to us. He took money from their safe. He's got four. And there's report of an incident between him and his father. What sort of incident? Well, we don't know. It was NFA'd. When was this? Seven years ago. Does it sound like a domestic to you? We don't know what we're dealing with yet. <clears throat> we do know that Rory Walsh's brief has arrived, so Grace and Terry, go and see what you can get out of him. Boss. Let's hope this proves fruitful, eh? No, seriously, how many times are we going to watch this? <laughs> Wait for it. He turns around. He turns around. And... Oh! Oh, oh, that, mate, that must We're supposed to be seeing if Fab was with anyone. Uh, we have, and he wasn't, Sarge. Yeah, we've watched it about ten times, Sarge. Try it again. Is it cold out today? Not particularly, no. So why is this fellow wearing a scarf and a woolly hat? Ten times, yeah? Just bring the discs showing other cash points to my office. It's sad. Mr Walsh, we believe someone's trying to extort money from your parents. I understand that. 
What I don't understand is why you're not out there looking for that someone. And you already admitted to us that you took money from their safe. It's not extortion, is it? No, it's theft. How much money did you take? Rory, we have access to your financial records and a warrant to search your flat. We will find out. I borrowed five grand. Without their knowledge. Why didn't you just ask them for a loan? My mum would have given me the money, no problem, but my dad was there. Oh, so you did ask for the loan, but dad said no, is that right? <laughs> What's your relationship like with your father? <laughs> Right, I, I see where we're heading here. I, I don't get on with my father, therefore I've done something terrible to my parents. Hmm? Maybe I've even killed them for the life insurance. Have you? I love my parents. And I am scared to death about what has happened to them. If you think having me here is going to help them, you're wrong. Piccadilly Circus, Ben's about to approach Mr. Walsh. This man here, two days earlier. There he is again. But yesterday's cash withdrawal, he's with Walsh every time. Have we got a clear shot of his face? No. Sarge, they found this CD in the glove compartment of the Walsh's car. It's got Anthony Williams' prints on it. Do I know him? Annoying little toe rag from the Jasmine Allen estate. Could this be Anthony? No. You haven't looked? This is not his thing. We'll see. Oh, leave me alone. Sorry. Sit down. What now? Shut up. You were in that car. No. Your fingerprints are all over a CD. I didn't thieve the car. Then who did? You think this is funny? Well, it kind of is, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'll tell you, but you won't believe it. Try me. I saw the car parked up earlier during the week. I was looking at it, having a look through the window. Go on. <laughs> a guy tapped me on the shoulder. I thought he was going to punch my lights out. So I was backing off, saying, oh, sorry. And then he just said, you like it? You can have it. <laughs> You are so close to getting nicked. I swear to God, that's the truth. He just threw me the keys. Right, so who's this guy then? Dunno. He looked like Freddy Krueger and he had blood on him and stuff. Blood? Mm. Blood. Is that him? Look at it properly. What's his name? I'm not sure. His name? Crap, anyway. No, they're not! The fact is, Anthony, this is now a missing persons inquiry. This couple are in their 60s. They could be hurt, suffering, anything. What happened to them? We don't know, that's why we're trying to find them. We're worried for them. Everything I told you, it's all true. Right, well, can you give us a name? Do you know his name? It's Jenks or Jenks or something like that. Thank you. You tell me that in the first place. No idea, officer. Rory admits taking money from the parents' safe, but he denies any involvement in their disappearance. Do you believe him? I don't know. Isn't it too much of a coincidence? But it's not his M.O., is it? He's bitter, and there's history between him and his father. There's also something about him that bothers me. Mm, could that something be the fact that you screwed up earlier and you're going to have egg all over your face if he's not involved? Max, in when will you ever give it a rest, eh? You make a mistake, you expect everyone to ignore it. Someone else slips up and you're all over them, so back off, Max. Once and for all. Back off! Get back to work, all of you. I 
I'm sorry about the mess with the cash machines. And I'm sorry about that. Are you apologising for Max? This thing with me and Neil, I know it must be difficult. Uh, Grace, look, I don't care about any of that. What I do care about is you being on your game. Forget about Max. OK? OK. Good. But, Grace, I, I do have to say that the DI is very sexy when he's angry. <laughs> don't you start. <laughs> Hmm. Callum? Daniel Jenkins, street name Jenks. Habitual oh. user, heavy drinker, and just got out of prison for ABH. Have we got an address for him? No, he was from a bail hostel two weeks ago. Already got a recall to prison. Has he done anything like this before? No, ABH, but not burglary or kidnap. Any connection to the Walshers? Doesn't seem like their sort of person. What about his family? Unlisted. No mobile phone. His probation officer's not been able to trace him on. He was at Longmarsh Prison at the same time as Rory Walsh. Still got your contact at Longmarsh? Yeah, I'm gonna call. Do you know this man? Why are you showing me this? He was in prison with you. <laughs> I shared a cell with him. Did you know him well? No, he was with me for about ten days. Maybe less. That was seven years ago. OK, we think the man that took your parents' car may also have taken your parents against their will. We have a witness linking this man to the car. So tell me about Daniel Jenkins. I, I, don't, I don't know anything. Try to think, Rory. I can't. This is completely crazy. What's your relationship with him? I don't have a relationship with him. So you haven't seen this man in seven years? <clears throat> Look, uh, I, I've no idea why you've come up with his name. One of the builders on the site says, said a man came up to him, asked him for a job. Go on. But he, he asked for me by name. He, he said... Uh, what did he say? Well, he, he, he just asked for me. Why did you think that that man was Daniel Jenkins? Well, I didn't. He, he, it never even crossed my mind. OK, well, why do you think that man was Daniel Jenkins now? He gave me a description of the guy. Well, he's not a very distinctive-looking bloke. He's got a scar. I don't see one. What did he want from you? In case you need reminding, your parents' lives are at risk, Mr. Walsh. Uh, um, someone's been calling me on my mobile. I, I didn't recognise the number, so I never picked up. Will it still be on your mobile? Yeah, it should be on my missed calls. How old's your daughter now? Old enough to join the police? Seriously? Following her old man's footsteps. More like handing on the baton, if you will. But you're jacking it in. I'm thinking about it. Like you, for your pension, you could probably afford to. Oh, come on, Bill. Don't all bitter on me now. So, tell me about Daniel Jenkins. Oh, he must have done at least three stints in this place. Sort of guy you don't want to be left alone with. And dangerous, is he? Angry, since he has nothing to lose. And why is that? Well, you've seen him. No, not yet. I've just got the uh, usual mug shop. Uh, it's an old one. Try this. Dear oh idea. Yeah, I imagine it's smarted a bit. You shared a cell with Jenkins for six weeks, not six days. And during that time, you made ten requests to be moved. Do you want to tell us what you did when you were turned down? You said he had a scar. Scar? Scar? 
That is an understatement. That man was disfigured, thanks to you. That, that had nothing to do with me. Well, that's not what the prison officers thought. And that's not what Jenkins thought. What's going on here, Rory? Tell her. Tell her! <sighs> um... There was a rumour going round that the, 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 the Jenkins had, had raped some, someone. A girl. A girl. An eight-year-old girl. Now, who started that rumour? You don't know what it was like. Being in a cell with that man. So you are responsible for this. I didn't do that. No, you just lit the fuse, didn't you? How could you have kept quiet about it? I just wanted one segregation. I, I didn't know he was going to be attacked. You lie it, and you cheat your way around everything, Rory. Your old man's got your number, hasn't he? Hmm? This... It isn't just about money, Rory. He wants revenge. Boss, we've got a fix on Jenkins' phone. Now, Apart from trips to the cash machine, he's moving around within the square mile area in this vicinity. It's going to take days to search that. We haven't got days. We're talking about an unstable individual with a grudge. OK. OK, look. The Jasmine Allen state is roughly in the centre, so concentrate on the vacant flats close to where the car was found. I'll take uniform with me. OK. to leave until I know they're okay. I'll call you, Rory. I don't have a lock, do I? I'm sorry. I will call you. I just need to talk to PC Ryder. PC Ryder isn't again. Why are you being so rude? Look, it's about the burnt-out car. What car? Who are you? I'm DC Dustery. Are you talking about the car on the Jasmine Allen? Yeah. What about it? Well, I just saw the bloke who nicked it, didn't I? Are you sure it was him? I'm positive. OK, wait here. Don't go anywhere. Sarge. What? You free? Where exactly did you see him, Ant? Over there, there's a building. Look, I've got to go. Ant? Let him go. Anthony, Let there's him go. near the estate. Stop! Let Stop! him go! He's useless.
Officer! Sir? Daniel? Don't! Fuck! Not in a lot worse than it feels. Well Thank you. What's he doing here? I need to see Mum. Don't you come anywhere near us ever. I'm sorry, sir. You need to get off the ambulance. Mum, I just want to know you're all right. I'm sorry. Get away from me. Mum. Get out. Get him off there, please, Mel. Right, you heard her. Out. Get out now. Make sure he doesn't go back in there, please, till the ambulance is gone. What's wrong with this? Let's just try this. Okay. Does it hurt much? Nah. It's good. Uh, it's got the label as well. Max. Thank you. No worries. trying to call you. Heard what happened. Are you okay? Yeah. It's just a bruise. Let me see. <sighs> Sorry. So, you're still coming over tonight? I was gonna cook. Come on, guys. We had a tough day, but we got through it. Did we? I messed up. You lost your rag in front of the whole office. Well, what kind of person would it be if I hadn't pulled up Max or something? No, like you that? overreacted. I didn't overreact. yeah, well, yeah, you did. Come on. Could you know, right. Can we just leave it? No, I won't leave it. Max was totally out of order. And I won't let him talk to you like that. I will not let him talk to the woman I love.
know what? It's going to be all right. Sierra Oscar 30, did you receive over? Lost him again. What do you mean again? A teenage girl is found unconscious with multiple injuries beneath the window. You can't save every damsel in distress. What? He was sent here to attack me. What are you talking about? Your sergeant. All that poor girl wanted was to reconnect with her dad, and thanks to you, Stone, he's in custody! Get out! Get out!